Wishes don't come true, but goals do. Welcome back friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will be talking about my goals for 2021 and advice to young girls out there. Y'all, I consider myself old now. I'm still in my 20s, but I feel old. Like, I feel like I have lived like 90 years. <laughs> So anyway, let's go ahead and get into this video right here. I was going to film this video in my car. My son is sleeping, but I'm just going to do it right here because I think this is good enough lighting for me. Hold on. Let me go get my pad because I wrote them down. So let's go. I am back. So here it is. My goal this year is to lose the remaining of my 60 pounds. I'm going to be doing a lot of challenges and going to try to work out all year round this year like this year i want to be back to my happy weight the weight that i i feel most comfortable on the weight that i feel most comfortable in and the weight i feel like i'm a shit in you know the weight i feel like damn girl you look good like fuck. my another goal is if y'all don't know i'm sure hopefully that video go up before this video but i am starting nursing school i got accepted into nursing school so i'll be starting this january like january 11 i'll be taking some classes so my goal this year is to be successful in nursing school y'all to be really really focused like make a good great average people make nursing school so seem so difficult you know what i'm saying so i know it's gonna be hard but my goal is to be successful in it another goal of mine is to grow my youtube channel y'all i really really want to grow my youtube channel and to be consistent with it like consistently posting on youtube consistently making videos consistently consistently exposing myself to y'all for y'all to get to know me that includes that i'm gonna be doing more story time because y'all don't know i do have a lot of stories y'all i grew up in the south yes y'all i grew up in the south so yes y'all i was ghetto as hell yes and i still got a little ghetto with me but yes i was ghetto i got into fights i got jumped i got i did a lot of crazy stuff so i'm hoping to share those stories with y'all my another goal is to grow my instagram channel i know zero things about social media and um instagram like y'all i wouldn't know how to post and sometimes to even post is hard i'm hoping this year i can grow it and you know and put myself out there more it's kind of hard to be a youtuber even though i do like doing youtube and i really love doing it sometimes it's kind of hard because i'm going from this anti-social person this person that is usually not very sociable to trying to be sociable i guess you can say it like that but i'm getting there y'all i'm hoping this year is gonna be the year for me like y'all out there do not let coronavirus do not let anything stop you do not be sitting on your couch wishing why investing yourself in other people by watching them or watching them do something watching them succeed get your ass up and go and do the same thing and succeed for your damn self like invest your time your money into yourself and grow yourself improve yourself this year do not sit on your couch eating doritos overweight and being depressed get up and do something about it time do not wait for anyone as each year go by we each get older so why sit there wishing until you die with with regret you know just get up and put all your interest in yourself so when okay i am back i'm sorry my camera died today's a full day of recording so hopefully this camera get its act together but anyway let's go ahead and sing back to what i was saying so um where was i i don't remember where i was all oh, right i would say my advice like do not die like when my goal is that when i die hopefully not anytime soon but when i do i want to die and be like yes i have tried my best in this life and i have tried my hardest in this life to achieve things that i wanted for myself i can die with the least amount of regret that's one of my goals for life not this year but yeah so y'all 
do what you want to do this year. If you have a business in mind, do it. If you have a dream that you want to make come true, if you want to um, get open, do a YouTube channel, all my best, do it. When I first started YouTube, I was like, man, I'm not meant for YouTube. I'm anti-social. And I have so many insecurities about how I look my weight you know i thought oh i'm not meant for youtube youtube's are for pretty people like these people with the small nose i don't have the small nose you know what i'm saying some like god just told me girl you want to do this you've been wanting to do this since you started watching youtubes and you know what i'm saying just go ahead and do it just open your youtube channel post a video and see and i'm so surprised by the amount of people that watch my video and i'm wondering like why watch it you know like what about me you know what i'm saying like it's weird but yeah yes your views might be slow because my views are slow my subscribers are slow you know what i'm saying but i'm happy doing it it's fun making videos you know what i'm saying it's fun find it talking to someone other than myself you know what i'm saying it's very very much fun when i hear y'all comments y'all thoughts you know your likes you know and it's so funny like so many of y'all that subscribe to our channel i think our personalities are the same like we get each other you know you'll be surprised you'll find your your own little family you know within this youtube like all my subscribers i consider my family y'all they are fans to me there i'm hoping to do a live to get to know all of y'all another goal for me this year is to get to know my subscribers more like do a live where we can chat and get to know each other and that's what i'm saying hopefully when i get my instagram channel going i can go on my instagram and let y'all know that i'm going to be doing a live on youtube and y'all can come join me and we can just have fun talk and get to know each other another goal of mine this year is to learn how to do mo makeup like a pro y'all makeup out here be transforming y'all i want to learn how to do that like i want to <laughs> I want to learn makeup i want to snatch my nose so tight that it look like michael jackson nose y'all that's how much I want to learn how to do makeup, y'all. I think makeup is a good thing. It's not something that I will wear on a daily basis, but it's something that I will wear when I go out. You know what I'm saying? Another goal is to stop procrastinating. Y'all, I procrastinate like crazy. I have these bunch of things that I want to do, and I just put it off and put it off and put it off. Like, I've been putting this video that I'm recording off. So, this year, I'm going to focus on not procrastinating, too. So that's it for my goals. Now I am about to talk about my advice for young girls this year. I know when I was younger, I felt insecure, you know, especially when you are at that age and you're not doing things what most other girls was doing, like me. You want to hurry up and do it. But my advice is to wait. If you see something that another person is doing and you think you're behind, just wait. Think about it. Use your brain more. Don't get too wrapped up in something that your brain is not working don't fall under peer pressure i saw people and grew up not even necessarily in my house but friends that i hung out with you know i grew up around the drinking and smoking and the drugs but i never did it and i never fell under peer pressure so young girls out there be strong do not fall under peer pressure close your eyes and picture it picture a life that you want for yourself you know a life that you want to live in the near future and then open your eyes and live according to that life write those things down and even close your eye for y'all out there that are looking to date and be with a person my personal opinion is do not date make friends that's my personal opinion do not date but make friends but if you do want to date go ahead and do that but also for dating picture close your eyes and picture yourself and picture the type of man that you want to be with if you want to be with a man that is making you picture yourself with a man that is hard working a businessman that has his own money you go after that if you picture yourself with a person that is educated and make money and make five figures go after that it's not wrong to want something for yourself and to want a specific type of man because at the end of the day y'all if you dream and you picture yourself as a as a stay-at-home mom or this say you want to live a life as a doctor wife or as a stay-at-home mom Bubba by the corner store Tyrone is not gonna give you that life but Brian might so go after Brian 
go after people like Brian. The time it does not wait for anyone. So do not waste your time on men that are useless, men that are have no value, men that are not gonna get you nowhere. I know sometimes I know sometimes it's hard, but do not waste your time on that. Move on. When you see them, dodge them, you know. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No, thank you. Uh -huh. mm -mm. I'm good. For my advice for women that have been in a relationship for a long time and that relationship is not going the way where you want it to go, my advice to you is break up and leave their relationship it's not going to get you nowhere it's been so long that it's not going the way that you want it to and also that person is not living according to the life that you want to live break up with that person do not waste your time anymore i know for women it is hard because you have invested time you don't feel like going out there to invest any other time to any other any other person you know being that you already invested so much time in this relationship. But girl, I promise you, leave that relationship. Because why go invest more time in something that is not going to work out for you? You know what I'm saying? I know it's hard. It's hard because you invested. But girl, if you say bye and let that go, I promise you, something else is waiting for you. Just consider that time as a lesson learned and move on. Move on to... um someone else like my personal opinion like i said i don't i didn't date much you know i had a lot of friends among them i thought to myself the kind of life that i wanted to live and i picked to do accordingly that's how i live you know that's how i have always lived yes i like all of them yes they were all people i could have fell in love with but at the end of the day some of them wasn't living the life that i wanted that I picture myself living. So those ones that I wasn't, I had to let them go. So girls, young ladies out there, that's my advice to y'all. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. And see you in the next one, okay? Bye-bye.